Hi, my name is Sis, and I work within the ClickView practice at DBG. Today I'm going to talk about Click Market. By going to market.clickview.com, you'll land on a page that's a ClickView Solutions Showcase, effectively showing ClickView applications, ClickView connectors, and ClickView extensions. The one I'm going to talk about today is the DBG Retail Dashboard. By clicking into the DBG Retail Dashboard, you'll get a few options that are available to you. You'll get information about the dashboard itself and how that works, the ability to leave a review, and also to get a bit more information about who DBG are and what we do. To get full functionality from Click Market, it's worthwhile logging in. And before you can log in, you'll need to register if you're not a registered Click Market user already. And we'll take down some basic details in relation to your name, your address, your job title, and a few contact details. I'm, of course, already a Click Market user, therefore, I'm able to log in straight away. Once you've logged in, you then get additional options to view the demo or to go to our partner site. And what we'll do today is launch the demo for the DBG Retail Dashboard. Going into the demo takes me into a ClickView portal where I'll just hit F11 just to get a full screen to get a good experience of this particular dashboard. Now ClickView is a powerful solution. It allows you to go through data discovery and business discovery as you would do browsing data on a Facebook page or your Twitter handle with the same fluidity and fr frictionless effort. What supports this is a concept called associative analysis. With this particular dashboard, we've taken a little bit of a step back from the data discovery and business discovery approach which allows you to drill down data to the nth degree. What we've done is created a summary dashboard that just gives you some top level metrics for a retail operation. And when we say top level metrics, we're looking at number of customers, number of customers by contactability, in this case, email, split by gender, sales across the globe, acquisition points, sales by gender again in more detail covering typical retail metrics such as your average transaction value average frequency items purchased and average price per item each one of these metrics has got a bit of a blurb explaining exactly what the metric is and how it's been calculated so the reason this dashboard is a little bit different from most clickview apps is that it doesn't give you the ability to drill down to the nth degree to low level data. This is very much targeted for typical board meetings or team meetings about the data once you've settled on certain metrics that you'd like to measure on an ongoing basis. You could see this kind of dashboard being available on a touch screen within the business where people can look at the data and maybe filter the information by time. One of the dimensions that we've kept in here, however, for an, from an interactive perspective, is time. When you look at sales of 24 million, the question may be, is that 24 million for this year, last year? What does that 24 million relate to? So time is one dimension that's very difficult to get away from, as far as keeping a dashboard simplistic. So we've left that one in. So by clicking on filter by time, this brings down a little bit of a simplified calendar with some basic time dimensions on there. When you click on 2013, you quickly realize that actually this dashboard only has three months worth of data for 2013. What you've selected turns green, what's associated with your selection remains white, and what's not associated becomes gray. The interesting thing is that once I've clicked on 2013, the 24 million has dropped to 1.9 million, indicating these are the sales that have been made in the first three months of 2013. By clicking onto 2012, 
I quickly reveal that I've got a full set of data, i.e. from January to February for sales, amounting to 10 million pounds. Going back a year, I can see that the previous year, we had sales of 6.7 million. So that's a clear increase in sales revenue over the two years. And again, you could go back as far as 2010. This ability to select on any number of time dimensions and have every single metric within, the biz within your dashboard change to reflect your selection is called associative analysis. It becomes a lot more powerful when you're dealing with a lot more data in a much more interactive type of dashboard. Going again back to the motivation for this dashboard, it's really for sort of your board level or your team management once you've agreed on the metrics that you'd like to show on an ongoing basis. And of course, you could add in new metrics if things did change. You also have the ability to share your experience with people who are not necessarily, who don't necessarily have a click view login by using the share session bu button. Once I click on that, I can start sharing a session and email a link to anyone who's a recipient. And effectively, they can join my session and look at the dashboard that I'm looking at for a period of about 15 minutes. That's without a click view license. The ability to, to do that effectively removes the friction of sharing your data in the same way you'd share something interesting in your social media environment. We hope that you have a chance to play with this dashboard, also bearing in mind it is by design made to be quite simple, straightforward and give you top level metrics for your business. Many thanks for your time.